Good day, my lovely people. You're welcome to the channel. This is Yuglo Fashion. So today we are learning how to make this circle sleeve with Prilo line. So if you have any question and if you enjoyed this tutorial so well, please put it in the comment section. Please like and share my video. Thank you very so much. So now for this circle flay with Prilo line. So I'm going to, I folded my fabric into two. So I'll fold it into four because it's circle flay. So I'll fold it into four. So after folding it into four, I'm going to measure the the length of the sleeve I want to use. And the length is seven inches. I'm not going to use this edge. So the length is seven inches. Then I'm going to add one inch for my seam allowance. Then the circumference of the circumference of the arm of my client is 22 inches because i'm going to still put splits there it's a split so i'm making i'm adding 15 inches to it this depends on how many pleats you want it to have so 20 plus 15 will give me 37 inches so now for this for the circumference of this place i need that seven inches so i will place my tape here then i'll go around this is five inches. So I'm going around with the five inches. Then I'll measure the circumference I have here. If it is up to that, it's seven inches I need. So this is that seven inches. So this is that seven inches you can see then from there i will go around here to i'll measure what i have here this is 13 inches from the from this point to here is 13 inches so i'm going around with the 13 inches again So I'll cut it out. So for the for the sleeve, I'm going to add my credo line to it. This is not saying credo line before this is what it is. And I've added paper stick to my my fabric. So I'm using the same fabric for the facing. So now I'll stitch my pretty line on it. So when you are stitching it, just ensure that you are not dragging the pillow line. Stitch it the way I'm bringing mine. So now I've finished my I finished sewing the pillow line. So the next thing I'll do is to stitch it up. So sorry, I forget to tell you I notched the middle the middle of my circle. So, uh, I'm not here too. so I'm using this the one I stitched my pillow line on. I'm using it for the face. The one I'm going to do this other one for my main fabric. So if you are sewing yours, try to stitch the pillow line on the facing and not the actual uh, fabric you want to use. So I will ensure that the uh, notch, the part I notch aligns. Then I will stitch the down part together. Now, after stitching the two together, I turn it to the right side. Then I'm going to stitch the tip just for it to relax well. So I will stitch this tip. I won't. I don't want the thread really showing on it. You can see.
Now, after top stitching the down side, I'll go ahead and stitch the, the upper part of the of the realized apple string. I'll just stitch the, the two together. Now, to stitch the sleeve, I'm going to place the notch part here. This is the right side. So I'm going to place the notch part at the hand hole. So now, after stitching these two out of it, then I will start my pleats. Please ensure that the, you know I have too much, but the, mid, the two middles. So I will I will pin down the other notch part to the shoulder, the shoulder line. So I'll pin the two together, then I will start my my feet. You can go by one one inch, hold it in with one inch. You can see the folding, so it's just one inch. So I will give it another space. I'm leaving like one inch space in between, then I will do another pleat. Another pleat of one inch. You can see I left like one inch space. Then I'm doing another pleat. After pleating it, this is the end result. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Stay blessed.